To connect IntelliJ to your A3 controller, you require a cable such as this one. Uh, these connectors are, were, I think, introduced by DJI and they are not easy to, to find. Uh, we are, uh, as we speak, trying to uh, procure these connectors and to manufacture this type of, uh, of cable, so it will be easier for you to set your uh, devices up. Uh, I will show to you what you can do uh, if you do not have such a cable, but first let's, uh, let's use this one. So this is the new CAN uh, cable from A3 and it goes into the API port, which is clearly indicated on your A3 controller. At the other end we have standard uh, connectors such as these ones, which go, as you can see on screen, into the serial connectors of uh, IntelliJ and uh, to the one of the uh, ground pins. Uh, so, assuming you do not have this cable, we have another example here with only standard connectors. This could even be a servo cable. And this can fit inside the uh, any of the, your CAN ports, but of course you need to put them into uh, the APR port. Uh, just be careful when you press them in. Okay, and make sure that uh, you uh, plug them into the uh, right uh, pins which are indicated on, uh, on screen. So, uh, three of uh, those went into the API port and the other three uh, would go into uh, IntelliJ as shown on the on-screen diagram. Now, Normally, if you use the M600, you will have to run your wire through your frame, just the same as you do with other uh, cables, for instance, the, the gimbal cable, uh, which goes through the frame. So use the same frame holes to pass your uh, disconnector uh, through your frame and uh, install IntelliJ someone, somewhere on the, button, on the, on the bottom of your, uh, your frame. And uh, you'll also have to supply IntelliJ with power. Please see the, the video tutorial uh, that shows how to power IntelliJ. In the case of M600, you'll need to procure a UBC. Uh, the M600 does not supply any 5 volt, so you need a, a standard UBC and uh, uh, you have to connect that to, your, to any of your two uh, power outputs on your M600 and uh, supply 5 volts to, uh, to IntelliJ. Once you have properly connected your IntelliJ to your A3 controller, you have to open your DJI Assistant 2 and connect it to your A3. Once connected, go to the SDK tab and here you have to follow these exact settings. First of all, you have to enable your API control, so you have to check this here and the second thing is to go to the baud rate and set it to this exact value here. And you have to go through each of these combos here and choose this option that you see on screen which says do not send. So these here are all telemetry information that we do not require and that could affect performance uh, of IntelliJ. So please make sure that each of this is set to do not send. The other information on the screen is, is irrelevant. So this checkbox has to be set correctly, this uh, baud rate uh, has to be set correctly and all this here has to be uh, set to do not send. Once you have uh, uh, set this correctly in your A3, uh, you will uh, be ready to use IntelliJ with your A3 for the first time. And it is important to know that the first time when you use it, you have to have your Lightbridge 2 Master uh, controller, remote controller uh, running, and to have your DJI Go uh, active and connected to internet. Uh, DJI has a special procedure that uh, requires every third-party device like IntelliJ to register on the DJI server when it is being first used. So unless you have your DJI Go running and connected to, to internet, uh, 
IntelliJ will not be able to uh, instantiate and communicate with, uh, your, with your A3. Uh, once you have uh, connected it for the first time, uh, like I said, uh, then you will not require to, uh, to repeat this, uh, this procedure again with the same uh, A3 controller.